Hello seekers, welcome to Punis Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Sun and Mars in the same house is a power-packed conjunction, a conjunction that is full of power, energy, and it is full of aggression, it is full of desire, and a, a kind of wish fulfillment. It has, it has the blessing on us if it is there in the birth chart. What is Sun? What is Mars? What will they do when they are in the same zodiac sign, in the same bhava? Let's understand in detail, but before that, do subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon and don't miss, miss another update. And whenever you watch this video, do give your comment, your own experience, if you have Sun and Mars in your birth chart in the comment section below. Let's begin a brief analysis of this unique conjunction. Sun is your power. Sun is the capacity to rule. Suri is the king. Sun is your soul. Sun is your father, government, authority. It is the skeleton of your body, the, the framework on which the life survives. It is the most essential planet. And when the sun comes in contact with Mars, it kind of explodes with energy. Mars is itself the Bhumiputra. It is the power to execute a certain task. If Sun is the energy, Mars is the capacity to convert that energy into power. Let's understand like this. If Sun is science, Mars is engineering and technology, the application of that science that actually works uh, if in the favor of humanity. But Mars is also very aggressive. It determines our willpower and it controls life and death, Aries and Scorpio, the two houses which represents the first and the eighth the bhava of the Kal Purush, which is the natural zodiac arrangement. And Mars also controls both fire and water zodiac, fire being the Aries, whereas water being the Scorpio. Mars itself is the one that wants to do something. So any desire to achieve a certain task is Mars. That's, that's Martian desire. And when sun goes there, Mars gets the support of the king. It's like the king backs the force and then the force can achieve the impossible. So sun and Mars conjunction is a kind of conjunction that if it is there in the birth chart, it can make you do the impossible. Now you have to define what really impossible is. Because depending upon the state of the planets, where they are placed, in what, what zodiac they are placed, the sun and Mars will behave in a certain way. And if Sun and Mars is in a positive state, it will fill you with energy. You can become IAS, IPS, you can become someone who is famous, you can become a great engineer, you can be an innovator, you know, you're, you're, you will be like the Iron Man, the Tony Stark. But on the other hand, if Sun and Mars becomes negative, then your soul's purpose and the direction of your energy will be becoming destructive in nature. Obviously, other factors have to come into picture and Moon's negativity will play a vital role. But Sun and Mars, if it goes in a negative position, can create a position of self-destruction. It can make you a rebel. It can make you fight against the authority. But then why are you fighting? What is the purpose of the fight? That goes out of the question. Because the mind will be full of energy and enthusiasm and the world might misuse your own talent and power, especially when you are young. On a mundane level, Sun and Mars conjunction will help you achieve uh, some really good task. It can make you a great planner, great strategist. It can have that, uh, that, uh, that power that helps you attain something. Success in field of sports, field of medicine, field of engineering. The only problem with Sun and Mars conjunction is that Sun and Mars can really become adamant and fixated on one particular idea one particular ideology, one particular desire. On one side, you know, this kind of passion that I am very passionate and I want to achieve something, that is good. But if that passion becomes toxic, then it starts spoiling your life. So you will have to ensure that your passion should remain passion and should not become a toxic obsession. Because if it becomes a toxic obsession, it can backfire big time. Uh, Sun and Mars in one house is not an Asuri conjunction. A lot of people say that it is a very negative conjunction. It will make you really angry. It will explode. See, 
when there will be lot of power when you will experience the power within yourself you are bound to cross that boundary or at least think of crossing the boundary and show your power give a display now here you must think like a king if a king starts displaying his or her power then it can be detrimental to the society and the nation so in spite of him having lot of powers he or she may not exercise that power so if you are having that power that means this power is there for you if you have a weapon does not mean you will use it that means lot of restraint and tapasya will be needed to control the energy of sun and mars and if it is in the birth chart then it simply means that the tapasya is waiting for you you have to follow the path of dharma you must do agni hotra agni rituals fire rituals you must uh, do the the sans you must follow the sanskar and chant lot of mantras and then there is one god whose prayer will really help you and that is bhagwan hanuman why hanuman ji is important is because first of all mangal can be controlled by bhagwan hanuman because it's all about true strength that is why we pray to bhagwan hanuman on a tuesday because mangal or tuesday or or, or mars as a planet is a god that is uh, very accessible that is very uh, you know very close to humanity but to be close to hanuman you must be like hanuman that means you must be as pure as him you must pray like a child you must pray with lot of innocence and and without any you know this this intention of hurting someone and that is why mars prays to bhagwan hanuman mars prays to bhagwan shiva and so if you can get connected to bhagwan hanuman it kind of controls the negative energy of mars in fact praying to bhagwan hanuman ji can also control the negative aspect of saturn so in one sh- one word anything that is malefic in nature anything that exists can be controlled by praying to bhagwan hanuman who is present in kaliyuga he is one of the chiranjeevi that means one of the immortals when you pray to sun and mars and when you pray to hanuman this immortal factor or or eternal life comes into picture why because mars is basically the blood flow it is the vital organs it is the vital life force and sun provides that life force now when both of them come together on a positive sense it kind of introduces the vital life energy within you and you are able to access and which also gives you health wealth and success but also gives you power to control and lead and dominate and show authority but in a positive sense so you are a naturally born leader and you can actually win and if you go into fields like defense uh if you go into fields like engineering if you go into fields like corporate executive leadership you will do much better there it's very very difficult to beat a sun and mars conjunction if that energy is used in the right direction but if this energy is put to wrong use this can become highly destructive although this is not asuri this is not demonic in nature it's how you use it and remember if you have sun and mars conjunction and you are using your own life's force your own tapasya for a negative reason say you become a tantric and you are putting it to go- wrong use just because you have power you are showing it and you are misusing your power you will be ruining multiple lives of your own your family you know this shrap the pitra dosh will come into picture in the next life and the life of your family members in the future your own generation will be spoiled so if you have sun and mars it is your inherent duty and responsibility to deal with this conjunction with great caution with lot of dharma and by maintaining your stand this is given for a certain reason you are there to shield and protect and defend so by default you have to show some power and become strong but then misuse of that gift given by god will be opening up the wrath of god so this is one thing you must always remember uh there is one placement where sun and mars can need will need lot of uh, remedy which is in ashlesha nakshatra especially around between 25 and 29 degrees of ashlesha or in the last pad of ashlesha when sun and mars goes there 
it creates lot of emotional outbursts so this is one area where mars when it gets debilitated it will create emotional challenges in life and this is very much natural because sun and mars is highly masculine in nature and if it sits in one house it kind of dominates that house it will take in charge of the leo aries and scorpio and the house right in front so kind of it it uh, charges that house and sometimes this charging can make you very cold uh, can give you ego pride and you will look for honor and you can die for your honor you know these kind of thoughts and mindset will come because of sun and mars coming together now there are various uh, you know challenges that can also come with this you have to remember that when a planet comes in conjunction with sun if it comes too close it will go combust no planet can stand in front of the surya that means say imagine if you if you there is a sun right in front of you and you stand you won't be able to see anything there is nothing that you can see apart from the light of the sun and you may have to close your eyes which means the mars must bow down to the power of surya so the one prerequisite of the sun and mars conjunction is that the surya should be performing well in the birth chart then mars will perform well if sun becomes weak this can create havoc now if it is creating havoc is, is there anything to be feared no pray to bhagwan narayan or pray to bhagwan shiva both of them can take the form of surya in your life the one who provides the life and light and put your entire energy towards that see if if mangal is hanuman surya is prabhu shri ram see what is happening here bhagwan shri ram and hanuman coming together is sun and mars conjunction so you can put the picture of ram darbar and be like a good and obedient bhakt and surrender and you will see the moment you surrender it will develop the sun and mars conjunction in a way that you will achieve a lot of prabhu kripa and the blessings of the divine will take you to places forget about career career these are small and petty things in life you can achieve blessings that will last for multiple lifetimes sun and mars uh, if happens to be in 6 8 or 12th house irrespective of the zodiac can make you a great lawyer can make you a potent strategist and you can actually build lot of things for yourself provided jupiter is good but if it is negative immediately correct it by doing hanuman upasana by doing surya upasana and one prerequisite of sun and mars conjunction is that you must wake up before sunrise now if the sun and mars conjunction happens in the sky it will happen obviously once a year or once in one and a half year uh, or if sun and mars conjunction is in your birth chart now when i say birth chart don't miss, be don't miss, uh, think that it i'm talking about d9 or any divisional chart no i'm only talking about your own birth chart if it is in the birth chart or in the transit wake up before sunrise follow the solar cycle and you will see that the health will come after all these are vital forces if you are a sadhaka you do yoga pranayam hatha yoga you will see great success sun and mars conjunction means the praying to shakti so someone who is involved in the shakta isha the shakti pantha that means praying to goddess durga mahadevi jagadamba you will also be able to achieve the best possible because if you see either bhagwan for some it is bhagwan shri ram for some it is bhagwan mahavishnu for some it is bhagwan shiva and for some it is ma kali or for some it is ma mahadurga anything can be your son they are all your surya you just pray to them as if they are your surya they are the one who has given life to you that is the level of dedication you will have to show no half hearted prayer will work otherwise it will destroy your energy it is like you have opened a fire say you want to cook food and you are you have opened the fire and the gas now fire is fire how are you using it will define the outcome so if you have this you have to be ultimately satvik now i have seen lot of people with sun and mars conjunction eating non vegetarian food drinking alcohol i can understand that it may be the lifestyle it may be the world that in with which we live right now there may be thousands of excuses or you may say that yes you want to live your life the way you want well you only think about one life astrology talks about multiple lives and a journey and when you are talking about journey 
you are in no way in a position to comprehend what this conjunction can do to the next lives and and what it has the potential and why it is there in the first place in your birth chart so better not to uh, you know challenge these uh, uh, what is written in the shastras better not to challenge the divine rather just follow because sometimes when you have lot of energy you are supposed to be pure because if only if you are pure from heart and body is when you will be able to truly harness the potential of these conjunctions otherwise this will only create anger frustration will create obstacles the moment you will try to show that you are powerful someone who is more powerful than you will stand in front of you or for the entire life you will live in assumption that you are best and powerful but people around you will blame you curse you and they will not be happy and all that curse will be coming in the next lives and you will suffer because power is not absolute power is relative in our realm we think we are powerful but only till the time when there is a bigger opponent with a much stronger chart we have to understand that the planets keep on moving they keep on changing every second so nothing is static everything is in motion even the power authority and success and money is the only true power is the power that is not bounded by the kal the time and the three dimension which is the power of the divine so if you have this conjunction this is the exact lifestyle you have to follow seeking power is okay but then you have to be ready to surrender that power when the time comes and when you do that you prove your worthness and maybe you will get the best not only in this life but also in the next lives and you are lucky if you have sun and mars conjunction you are born leader you will be able to achieve great success in the in the government sector and lot of people can go into politics but then you will have to be a good politician and sun and mars can give you fame name success but also can create controversy because of your own anger and because of your own action and misdemeanors think about it focus on sattva it is a highly rajasic conjunction sun and mars is not sattvic it's a rajasic conjunction it allows you to expand your territory and win kingdoms how you win is more important than what are you winning